بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس السلام علیکم ان دس ویڈیو وی آر لرننگ اباؤٹ دا پچوٹری گلین اینڈ پارٹس آف دا پچوٹری گلین دا کنٹینٹس آف دا ویڈیو آر انٹروڈکشن اسٹرکچر ہارمونل کنٹرول ٹارگیٹ آرگنس آف دا پچوٹری ہارمونس اینڈ پارٹس آر لوبس آف دا پچوٹری گلین فسٹ آف آل انٹروڈکشن آف دا پچوٹری گلینڈ پچوٹری گلینڈ اینڈ ون آف دا موسٹ امپارٹنٹ گلینڈس آف دا انڈوکرائن سسٹم دس گلینڈ از آلسو نون ایز ہائپو فائسز دا ہائپو فائس از ویری سمال ان سائز اٹ از اباؤٹ ون سینٹی میٹر ان ڈایا میٹر اینڈ فرام ہاف ٹو ون گرام ان ویٹ This soft tissue, the endo, the pituitary gland, is protected by the bony cavity that is known as Cellata Sica. This is protecting the gland as the skull is protecting our brain. This gland is originated from two types of tissues. One type of tissues appear from Rathke's pouch and the other types of tissues are neurons in origin and they develop from the hypothalamus and hypothalamus is the lower part of the brain. This gland is also connected to the hypothalamus by a special stock that is known as pituitary stock or hypophysial stock. This gland functionally and ori by origin is divided into the portions or the lobes and these portions are anterior lobe or anterior pituitary gland also known as adenohypophysis and posterior lobe or posterior pituitary gland also called as neurohypophysis why it is called neurohypophysis because it is directly connected to the nervous system the hypothalamus and the hormones are also synthesized in the hypothalamus and then release from the neurohypophysis <coughs> in this picture we see that the pituitary gland is divided into portions anterior pituitary posterior pituitary and intermediate lobe also known as pars intermedia the anterior pituitary is divided into two portions pars tuberosus and pars distalis while the posterior pituitary is also called as pars nervosa the intermediate lobe is less developed in higher vertebrates but it is well developed in a lower vertebrates so this pituitary gland is protected by a bony cavity which is known as cella tracica which is this bone is a type of saphenoid bone the blood supply is coming from the median eminence and also this gland is controlled and regulated means many of the hormones that are synthesized in the anterior pituitary they are controlled by the hormones released from the hypothalamus and the hyp the hormones from the hypothalamus they come in the blood through the median eminence so the median eminence is the blood source to the pituitary gland 
now we are learning about some important hormones that are released from the anterior pituitary gland and posterior pituitary gland first about the hormones of uh, anterior pituitary gland anterior pituitary gland contains various types of cells and each type of cell is making or producing a different type of hormone such as which hormones are synthesized there are many hormones synthesized but common or most important of these are or we can say that well known hormones are TSH thyroid stimulating hormone LH luteinizing hormone FSH follicular stimulating hormone GH growth hormone prolactin which is short written as PRL and SCTH adrenocorticotropic hormone so these six type of important hormones are synthesized in the anterior pituitary gland but for their release for their secretion the pituitary gland is regulated by the hypothalamus so hypothalamus is synthesizing trh thyroid releasing hormone thyrotropin releasing hormone for the release of tsh lh rh luteinizing hormone releasing hormone for lh lh rh same hormone for fsh also ghrh growth hormone releasing hormone for release of the growth hormone from the pituitary gland and pif prolactin inhibitory hormone inhibitory factor for the control of prolactin and crh corticotropic releasing hormone for the acth control and the target target organs target glands of the these anterior pituitary hormones for suppose tsh this is working on thyroid gland lh and fsh they are both working on gonads either male gonads or female gonads growth hormone the whole body is target of the growth hormone prolactin this prolactin is working on mammary glands or breasts of female for milk production and acth the hormone of the pituitary gland is working on the adrenal gland adrenal gland we will learn about later so these were the hormones from the anterior pituitary gland now we are learning about the hormones from the posterior pituitary gland the posterior pituitary gland is releasing two important hormones known as antidiuretic hormone are shortly known as adh this hormone is also called as vasopressin hormone and the second one second most important hormone is oxytocin so this oxytocin is for milk release milk secretion and there are various functions we will discuss later this is the summary of the hormones from the anterior and posterior pituitary and their target organs for suppose first anterior pituitary acth hormone that is released from the anterior part of the pituitary gland and has function on adrenal cortex second hormone is growth hormone growth hormone has functions throughout the body on muscles and bones MSH melanocyte stimulating hormone this hormone has functions on the skin for pigmentation so mostly this hormone is released from the 
intermediate lobe of the pituitary gland TSH TSH has function on thyroid gland for the release of T3 and T4 hormones and other gonadotropin hormones such as FSH and LH they have effects on testes and ovaries oxytocin and prolactin oxytocin is released from the posterior pituitary or neurohypophysis and prolactin from adenohypophysis both have function on breasts or memory glands and the last one is ADH from the posterior pituitary this ADH is actually regulating the water balance in the body and uh, and it has the target organ is the kidney which is uh, maintaining the water levels in the body so we are learning about the anterior pituitary first so anterior pituitary is the part of the pituitary gland it is called as adenohypophysis and this portion contains uh, different types of cells and each cell is responsible for synthesis of different types of hormones for suppose for suppose we say there are somatotrophs corticotrophs thyrotrophs gonadotrophs and electrotrophs these are different types of cells of the anterior pituitary gland and each type of cell is producing different types of hormones so for suppose somatotrophs they are producing growth hormone corticotrophs they are producing acth hormone thyrotrophs thyroid stimulating hormone gonadotrophs they are releasing lh fsh and electrotrophs they are producing prolactin hormone now pass intermedia the intermediate lobe of the pituitary gland which is located between the anterior and posterior lobes of the pituitary gland so this part in humans during the fetal life this portion is producing melanocyte stimulating hormone shortly known as msh this hormone is what is the function of this hormone actually this hormone is controlling in the release of uh, melanin pigments in the skin so the pigmentation on the skin is controlled by the msh hormone and msh hormone is released from the pars intermedia the posterior part of the pituitary gland it is also called as neurohypophysis the cells of posterior pituitary they do not synthesize the hormones as we already discussed actually they are neurons their cell bodies are located in the hypothalamus and where the hormones are synthesized and the their neuron endings nerve endings are located in the posterior pituitary where the hormones are released so there are supraoptic and paraventricular neurons in the hypothalamus which actually synthesize oxytocin and adh hormones so the function of the posterior pituitary gland is to release the oxytocin and adh hormones we will learn little about the functions of the hormones that are secreted from the pituitary gland 
for suppose we know that thyroid stimulating hormone TSH this hormone stimulates thyroid gland for release of the thyroid hormones and these hormones such as T3 and T4 they control basal metabolic system in the body they also have function in the growth and maturation and so many functions we will learn later then is the growth hormone growth hormone actually regulates growth this hormone is controlling the growth of bone and growth of soft tissues and this also controls the process of uh, cell division so we will discuss further in next classes about the hormones here is the short introduction of these hormones the next one is adrenocorticotropic hormone this hormone is actually controlling on the adrenal gland adrenal gland is located on the top of the kidney and this gland has very important functions in the body these glands regulate the stress response such the hormones cortisol and aldosterone they also maintain the blood uh, liquid liquid part of the blood and they also controls minerals they also control the glucose metabolism stress emotions happiness so many functions are controlled by the hormones from the adrenal gland then we have two hormones luteinizing hormone and follicular stimulating hormone these hormones have functions on the gonads gonads are testes and ovaries male gonads are testes female gonads are ovaries these gonads not only not only provide the environment for the maturation of gametes but they also release hormones for the for the growth and maturation of gametes and for the control of secondary sexual characters so these both hormones have very important functions on the control of gonads the other one hormone is prolactin shortly known as prl so prolactin is uh, stimulates the milk production in the mammary glands and so this is very important and the target organ of prl is mammary glands melanocyte stimulating hormone already discussed that this is has the function in the production and release of melanin means pigments pigments on the skin and hair then two hormones from the posterior pituitary gland oxytocin we will discuss in detail in the next video about these uh, hormones but here is the short introduction of them this oxytocin is released for two types of tissues one type of tissues already discussed mammary glands for the release of milk when the baby is sucking her mother and second this this type of hormone has functions in males but especially in females they are actually functioning in a contraction of smooth muscles of cervix and uterus during the delivery of the baby and they are producing labor pains when the baby is sucking her mother for the breast feeding so the signals go 
through the oxytocin and they contract the smooth muscles of mammary glands to release the milk so there are other important functions of this hormone we will discuss it in details in later so the last one is vasopressin this is also known as anti diuretic hormone adh so this is maintaining the water balance in the body reabsorption of water through the kidneys so this is target organ the kidneys thank you so much for listening see you soon allah hafiz